Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to do the effect on the screen right now. It shouldn't be hard at all. Before this video starts, make sure to like and subscribe down below with the notice on so you're notified when I post another video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go right here and cut two beats before the impact or whatever. You can do three, it doesn't matter. And after you've done that, you want to go like a little bit behind and cut right there. And after you've cut, you want to go here and nest it and look up remap. And velocity remap will come up and I will leave the BCC plugin in the description for you guys so you guys can um, have this, right? And we need to change up a little settings for the remap. You want to put this on none and turn off the tempo over. First thing you want to do is go to the beginning of the cut or whatever and click the little animation thing so it has a little 100. Keep that 100 and then go to the beat. Make sure it's on the beat and keyframe and then go 10 frames to the left. So 1, 2 and then 10 frames to the right. So you have that. And then go to the next one. Keyframe there, and then go 10 frames to the left once again, and then 10 frames to the right. So after you've done that, you want to go to the middle of these ones, so you have this, right? And then you want to put this at 170, put this at 60, then do the same thing for the other one, so 170, and you want to put this at 50 to 60. This one I'll put at 50 because sometimes there is a black screen. So you have that. Like that, you see? So it's really clean. But it doesn't look as clean as you want it to look, right? And also, if you don't want these lines, you can also just turn it off. It doesn't look as clean as you want it to look, right? So now you just want to look up lightness, and this one will come up BCC. Also going to be in the description. And you want to go to exactly where this keyframe is and just keyframe the lightness so like this so after you've keyframed all of these you want to go to the middle once again and then put this at negative 80 do that for this one over here as well put it at negative 80 so then it's like a little flicker effect like that perfect so Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe like always. Um, comment what you guys want next. I'm out. Peace.